it up. I physically cannot tell you how many times I have watched that TikTok. She is a queen. I was gonna post a TikTok duetting that and I was gonna put like a rap verse on it, but Bailey was like, that's fucking embarrassing, don't. And I was like, okay, I won't. But anyways, how's everyone doing? So the other day I was like, I need to film a video, but like my brain is literally a wind tunnel. I was like, I could do confessions again, but I wasn't sure if you guys even like wanted me to do that and... <laughs> Y'all are not finished traumatizing me yet, and you've made it quite apparent. So today I will be reading, exposing, and ranking your confessions for the fourth time. I find it so entertaining. You guys trust me way too much, and like you really shouldn't. Some of you were brave. You guys were like confessing stuff on my Twitter, publicly, for everyone to see. I'm like... Make sure to go follow my Instagram and Twitter if you wanna be included in future videos or send me numbers for future prank call videos. That would be greatly appreciated. And once again, this video series is inspired by Deb and Alex. I love them both, go subscribe. Before we get into the confessions, I'm gonna explain to anybody who hasn't watched these how I rank them. So it starts off with just another Tuesday. I get it, but I wish I didn't. Thin ice, it means you're getting there, but you're not quite there yet. Blink twice. It's like, are you okay? I've added a new tier. Pita. The horse is here. Peter. The horse is here. But it's not at calling the police yet. It's just weird enough where the horse is here. And the last here is I'm calling the police and you know what that is. Someone said, what about your confessions? You're not getting that out of me. This is my channel and this is about exposing you guys. And I, anyways. I watched porn with my coworker while we were at work once. Aw, ew. I steal from my job every day. I honestly encourage it. Actually don't. Well, <laughs> Bailey, is that bad? Okay. <laughs> Bailey's my PR person, so whenever there's a confession that's like a little oh, 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 she literally will yell at me through my wall and tell me not to do it, so. Shout out to her. I get turned on when my boy toy plays the piano for me. I don't know if it's because I'm an audio kid at heart or it's the way his fingers move so fast, but it makes me feel some kind of way. Oh my God. Peta, the horse is here. I don't like the way you phrased that, actually. This one just says, in parentheses, confession for my friend. First kiss was with his first cousin. I used to gatekeep Helen Keller when I was eight. Oh my god, uh, what is this? Remember the children's toy called Furby? So I had one when I was eight and it moved its mouth to speak in a very specific way where it opened and closed while vibrating. Oh my god. So the curious little me put his thingy, my I'm a trans guy, in between the Furby's lips and <laughs> I can't do this and for the first time without knowing what that was with a furby and that's the first time i had a wank a wank are you british i can never and will never look at a furby the same way ever again <laughs> i'm a girl when i was 12 or 13 i had a crush on my teacher but then my mom took an ancestry dna thing and my teacher showed up i immediately lost all feelings towards her <gasps> You had a crush and she's probably your aunt. I love sucking my boyfriend's toes with whipped cream, strawberry jam, Nutella, and peanut butter. It's just so good. Well, it's not illegal and I don't think it's horses here worthy. Blink twice. One time when I was like 10 years old, I really needed to take a shit, but I was already in bed and felt lazy to get out of bed. So instead, I took a shit in my underwear, but I didn't want it to stay there overnight, so I grabbed it with my hand. <laughs> and dropped it underneath the bed. I didn't even wash my hands and went back to sleep. Later, when my mom was cleaning my room, she found the shit under my bed and thought it was a dog's poop. To this day, she still doesn't know it was mine. What the fuck? I would give you thin ice, but you were 10 years old. I'm gonna give you Peter. Once me and my friend beat each other with a bell with... <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing. While kind of sexy music was playing in the background. Also, two other friends watched the whole thing. Still not sure what that was. Blink, Blink twice. twice. When I was in the third grade, I used to look up horse sex on YouTube on my friend's iPad and deleted the history afterwards. Pita. I like the smell of band-aids. It's a problem. When you take off a band-aid, mm. Okay, this is two. I low-key have a crush on my career teacher and I like to get on. <laughs> when I was little, I used to force my brother to eat dirt. I 
walked a furry at a convention. I hate furries. So what side are you on? Not 100% of my story of confession, but an ex-partner of mine. Okay, once again, you guys are sniffing. We met on the internet. Everything was supposed to be perfect. We went along, talk about the most embarrassing of things, but he confessed to me the most funniest thing ever. So it started off that he was on FaceTime call with his BFF while he was in the bath, and then he was getting out and he suddenly fell on a plunger and it went up his ass. He was desperately trying to get the plunger handle out of his ass, but his family came home and they were calling him. He had to put on the most baggy sweatpants he could find, along with a XXL t-shirt, and go downstairs and eat dinner with the plunger. <laughs> Sorry. And eat dinner with the plunger up his ass, the suction cup of it sticking to the seat and his sweatpants. He eventually got it out. Even though that was funny as fuck, I'm gonna say I don't believe this confession only because if you had a plunger, like what, the handles are like what? <laughs> like that big if that whole thing was inside of you the handle would have been sticking out of your mouth like that is full-on getting impaled once had a threesome in my parents bed and when they arrived home to rest it was midnight they asked me if i put the heater on previously because the bed was warm Blah. ew for some reason a while ago i got bored so i used floss on my asshole long story short the stuff they put in it will make your burn and feel sore for two days. I had to tell my mom because it wouldn't go away. Why did you use dental? Like, ee -ee. what? Pita. I once vacuumed up my sister's hamster. How did it fit in the vacuum? Or were you using like one of those vacuum like tubes? And he was just like, <laughs> I had my first kiss the same night my cat passed away. Oh, bittersweet. I'm just kidding. Um, I get it, but I wish I didn't. When I was younger, I used to have a fetish for men getting turned to stone. What? Like Medusa look in her eyes and get turned to stone. I also used to fantasize about burying hot guys alive in cement. I was seven. The horse is here. Y'all are literally confessing your full on murder plans in here. Like, I hope you know that whenever I look at my camera, I picture these people watching Watching me. As a kid, if I was at a friend's house and they didn't have toilet paper, I would find a towel and wipe. I would rinse it off and then be on my way. This one time though, I almost got caught because this girl said she took the last piece of toilet paper, but then I said I did. So they were all like, what did you use? And I'm like, there is like a little bit of toilet paper left. I get it, but I wish I didn't. I read Wattpads of Bill Nye and John Cena and enjoy them. That's a thing? Why do I want to look it up? I'm kind of curious now. My friend created a fake Instagram account and one of our teachers messaged the account and said, yum. Anyways, love your videos. You should have put the teacher's name because I would have called the police for you. Ugh. What the fuck? I scoop tonsil stones out with a screwdriver. Oh my God. Blink twice. Seek help. Go to a doctor. I lost my virginity in a porta potty. Oh, how romantic. I had lice for two years and no one noticed. Are you proud of that? You couldn't waterboard that out of me. I'm secretly a tarot reader and I know everything of everyone and I know their intentions before they do anything, but no one knows. I'll call you. One day I had a panic attack and to calm myself, I narrowed like 60% of my body. Somehow I got a chemical burn on my nipple, but not my whole. I really want you to start an OnlyFans. I've said this in the past, if I did do an OnlyFans, it would literally be a skinwalker. That's all you'd see. I'm a klepto, but not like OMG I'm pocketing some lipstick from Walmart teehee. No, I will fill up the fucking cart and walk out with people screaming at me to pay. I've stolen thousands of dollars worth of stuff this month alone. I have no clue how I haven't gotten caught yet. I expect the police to be behind the door every time someone knocks, but it's so fun and I probably should get some help, but whatever. You're filling up carts? I've shoplifted stuff before, but it was like tiny. And it was like before I turned 18. But you're filling up carts. Oh, what? No, you're lying. I saw my cousin's sister breastfeeding her husband. Like for shits and giggles, I could have said like thin ice. No, you're going straight to the slammer, okay? I swallowed a full rock when I was 13. I'm so proud of you. I write fanfics of you and my homophobic brother having sex while Nicki Minaj 
What's the rest? You said like, wow, Nicki Minaj. Now I'm curious. I've went weeks without brushing my teeth. You should get on that. I've had seven in me at once and I would pay my soul to relive it. <laughs> like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. I didn't say that. You didn't hear me say that. <laughs> or should I say seven hot dogs? I put my hair dryer up my and turned it on. It feels so euphoric. 10 out of 10. You just made that up. You just made that up. I used to hold my shit. Like no joke, from ages six to 13, I was scared to shit. I would hold it into the point that when I did shit, it was the length of my forearm. I'm gonna say thin eyes. Forearm. I used to put Skittles in my butt and leave them there for a few minutes and then eat them. I was nine, sorry. For a few minutes? I used my sister's flute as a d once. After using it, I put it back in her room. And the worst part, she came in the room a few minutes later and she started to play it. Note, I did clean it after I used it, but still. What the fuck? you guys. I've been dating my college professor, but I think he has a wife or something, although I've never seen him wear a ring. Yeah, that's a red flag. If you don't get an A in that class, I'm gonna be real fucking pissed. When I was little, I used to eat the glass in picture frames. I lost my V-card breaking into an abandoned cottage. Okay, Snow White. With a homophobic dude. Slay. And using the end of a trash bag as a condom. Also came back there with a different partner and stole a sewing machine on the way out. Wow, you were busy. But like a cottage, I still can't, I'm not over that. And why were you using a trash bag as a, okay, let's move on. When I was a kid, I would spend hours sitting on the toilet naked, hunched over with the toilet seat on my back because it made me feel like a ladybug. Get help. I used to do pissing videos for a hundred dollars each. I respect the hustle, but you're on the nice. I'm while watching you. Also, I love your content. I think about leaving the internet sometimes. I like watching birthing videos. I don't know, it's better than porn. I think I'm gonna go lock my door, sage my house, and delete social media.